choose it. I, I didn't choose it. Well, okay, why you hold that belief? I just, that, why do you hold your belief? Because your mother shoved it down your throat. No, I actually, I would choose agno agnostic. I mean, I, I don't see the evidence either way. I don't see any evidence that there's a God. But you see evidence that there is not. I just don't believe in a God. That's what atheism, that's the very nature of atheism. Exactly. And that's what I am. But you don't have any reasoning? I don't need any. I don't believe the fairy tales that people have written. Uh -huh. I don't believe the fairy tales to explain things that we do not and cannot understand. You know, it's interesting how every country has its own version of these fairy tales. Yeah. All right, and it always reflects the local culture. I mean, do you think that all the people in India are wrong? I actually wouldn't even ascribe to the Christian God. I mean, I'm just talking about God as a creator in general. I don't believe that there is such a thing. Okay. But no... I don't see any evidence that there is. Okay. I mean, God is a... God is an explanation for things that we can't explain. That's what it is. I mean, it was like the John Lennon song. God is a concept by which we measure our pain. God is a concept. You got, okay. God is a concept. God is an idea. Isn't it possible that that idea exists? I mean... Not to me. N no possible way? I don't think... I mean, you don't even consider that it's a possibility? No, I don't see any evidence at all. But you see evidence that there is not. I don't have to see the evidence that something is not. I have to see evidence that something is. Is there a sun coming up tomorrow morning? Yes. How do I know? I see it. Because it always happens in the past. I don't need evidence that there is not, you know, I don't need evidence that there is not a sun or that evidence that there is not anything. I need evidence that something is. Oh. Do I exist? Yes. Why? I looked in the mirror this morning. I know. <laughs> oh. Okay. All right. <laughs> Gerald, you're on. Hi. I was just wondering, how does it feel knowing that you're eventually going to go to hell if you don't believe? What makes you think I'm going to hell? Because it basically says in the Bible, if you don't believe, that you will go to hell. What makes you think I believe in what's in the Bible? Why wouldn't you? Because I don't believe anything that's in the Bible. Why not? The Bible is, a, is, a, is kind of a quaint little... Quaint little piece of fiction written by a bunch of men. Okay, God gave these men the power to write this Bible. Really? Prove it. Prove it? Yeah. Okay, I don't know the Bible that good. Cause oh, like, you don't know. Christian. Well, all right, well, that's a claim they made. Did they ever prove it? Huh? It was a claim these men made. Did they ever prove it? What do you mean? Wait, can you say that again? Sorry, I didn't hear you. I said, why did these guys make this claim? Did they ever prove it? Yeah, because God... They walked. proved it. How did they prove it? I'm listening. The Son of God walked on this earth. D I want proof that these men who wrote the Bible got authorization from or inspiration okay, from this, God. this is a subject that you just kind of have to have faith on, you know? Well, then, you see, you can't prove it. That's my point. Because it's a thing you can't well, prove. Well, you know, you I have mean, faith you that... You know, there are have people faith. have faith that Santa Claus is going to come and deliver presents under the Christmas tree. The people who believe the Tooth Fairy will be delivering quarters under their pillow. Okay, that's a thing for little kids. This is like... I don't religion. care. Well, it doesn't like matter. matter. The point is, it's all a matter of faith. Yeah, it's all a matter of faith. And it's all unprovable. Believe. Prove it. You see, you can't prove it. And the point is, I, there's no, I don't believe in things unless I can prove them. Why not? Are you just one of those people that it's... Okay, think about air. You can't see it, but you know it's there. Actually, there is evidence that air exists. Well, yeah. Think of the Bible. That's evidence that God exists. No, the Bible is a book written by men that made a bunch of claims. Yeah, but... Some of which are very hard to believe, I must say. Logic, uh... Not your forte, Kirsten, but thanks for calling Ask the Atheist. The of hell, and you are an ambassador for Satan. Is that so? <laughs> you're, 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 uh, listen, the trash you spew out on the show, okay, proves that you are locked in the grips of adulterous, fallaciotic whoremongering. Is that what you think of me? That's right. You, you, you're going to go to hell. Really? You don't think so? Uh, no, I don't think I'm going to hell. Well, no, you go I... to hell and you're boiling alive in your own semen. You can't say that no one tried to help you, freak. You, you seem angry. You're, you're darn right I'm angry. 
Why are you so angry? And, and by the way, you've called before, haven't you? Yes. And you listen every night, don't That's you? That's right. I'm part of the decency council. We record everything that you this trash, and, and we put it on file. Really? We study pornography in depth. We mm. listen to your trash in yeah. depth. Really? To, to, to try to study the mind of a pervert. Is that so? That's right. And what have you found in your study so far? People like you, have says you're not worth saving. Really? You're going to go to hell. You think so? That's right. Wow. You need to reach for the scriptures, not a scrotum. Why? Well, I, I didn't even know you knew about scrotums. Oh, go ahead and make a joke. Go on, laugh. <laughs> you won't be laughing when you're in hell, friend. You think not, huh? No. Imagine the talk show I could do in hell. My God. Look at the guests you'd have. Hitler, Stalin, uh, the Mussolini, Ted Bundy. My God, it's like the Larry King show every night. This show is a pipeline from hell. You think so? That's right. You're the voice of Satan. Really? I'm not kidding around. You really believe that? <laughs> You're tar I believe it. Holy cow. What do you think I've been on hold for two hours for? Uh, that's a, Yeah, because you can't stand listening. I know. I can't stand this crap. Uh, and you listen every night. The youth of this country is going down the toilet, and, and you've got your head on top, of their, on top of their skulls, pushing them down into the toilet. Dumb like this. What is... You said, I asked you if you believed in aliens. That's what I wanted to ask, if you believed in aliens. And you said... If they prove it, right? Well, I didn't, believe, I didn't say I believed in aliens. I said that there well, could they potentially... There, who knows? There could be uh, uh, human beings on other planets. I haven't seen any proof yet. My father just passed away, and he believed God was a friggin' alien. Wow. Tony, you're on the Tom Likas show. It's Ask the Atheist. Hey, Tom. How's it going? Not bad, Tony. Um, what I'd like to say is... As I think that belief in a religion or a supreme being is just as preposterous as saying that God doesn't exist. I don't think so. I, I don't know whether God exists. I don't care. I just don't I, happen to believe it. That's frankly, all. Frankly, I, I don't care either. I think it's preposterous. When you ask me if God exists, I say most likely not. But you can't prove it, and you can't disprove it. I never claimed I could. But you're an atheist. I just don't believe it. That's all. Prove to me he doesn't exist. I don't have to prove it. It's a belief. Yeah, I see where you're coming from. But having said that, we need to tax the churches. Now, that's a whole other separate issue, for God's sake. Rick, you're on the Tom Likas show. It's Ask the Atheist. Yeah, um, do I have time for two questions? I don't know yet. Okay. I don't know how, how verbose you're going to be. Okay, the first question is, um, do you have a presupposition that evolution is, is the way the world was created? Nope, I don't know. You don't know, because I would have to ask you the question, even if you don't, because that's the overwhelming reason that we are given for how the Earth was created and how we've come to be, is how can um, that happen if the second law of thermodynamics says you start with something, then it ends up basically moving to chaos. It doesn't get better, it moves to chaos, which would make it very difficult to explain how we could move from a cell and somehow get... Well, I'll, I'll tell you what, when you can find the explanation for that in the Bible, you let me know. Oh, it's very simple and very clear in the Bible. Uh, no, the Bible it isn't. has a very clear... And no, it doesn't. Uh, no, it do there is no discussion of science in the Bible. If you can tell me what page, what verse, what chapter, the, the theory of entropy is discussed on, I'd like to know where it is. Well, what I'm telling you is the Bible, the Bible is in harmony with that position. You haven't answered my question. Where in the Bible does it say that? The whole creation account, Genesis chapter 1. Uh-huh. I mean, it, it, so it explains the science of creation, huh? It's going to... There is no science in the Bible. Sorry. Send us an email. Our email address is 